Hey, what's going on everybody? Brian here for work to game and today we're talking about the Nintendo Creators Program and some changes that they're making in line with the changes of the YouTube Partner Program. Now, I received this email this morning and I wanted to read it to you and then we're going to discuss it and I'd love to know your thoughts about the Nintendo Creators Program, YouTube, really anything in general. But let's go ahead and dive in and I'd love to know your thoughts. So, from Nintendo, everyone, thank you for using the Nintendo Creators Program. In January, changes were made to the YouTube service. This email will explain how this will impact the Nintendo Creators Program. As YouTube informed the creators, the YouTube Partner Program requirements were changed. The new channel requirements 4,000 hours of watch time within the last 12 months and 1,000 subscribers in order to be eligible for monetization. It was also announced that for existing channels, the same requirements will be applied from February 20th, 2018. After February 20th, channels that do not reach the requirements will no longer be able to earn money on YouTube. The Nintendo Creators Program requires agreement to end participation in the YouTube Partner Program. So if channels do not meet the above eligibility requirements, they will not be able to monetize on the Nintendo Creators Program from their videos. Further, please be aware that if you already have your channel registered to the Nintendo Creators Program, those channels that do not meet the requirements will be deactivated from the program by YouTube. Please refer to the YouTube Creators blog for further details on the changes and the link is provided Nintendo Co. LTD. So where I fall on this is I completely understand. This is not surprising that this change is happening. Nintendo is one of the most restrictive platforms or programs out there and the Nintendo Creators program itself has always left me you know, on edge and uneasy. A lot of creators boycott Nintendo and Nintendo games on the platform due to the Nintendo Creators program. Now, as someone who loves Nintendo, actually just recently, <laughs> uh, as, a, as a resurgent Nintendo fan, somebody who is really enjoying his Nintendo Switch, there's an obvious you know, chance that I'm going to talk about these games. Now, you don't see me posting a lot of games or, <laughs> or videos with Nintendo characters in it, and it's for this reason. It's because there's also this uncertainty. Anytime I do post anything with Nintendo imagery, I go ahead and just for the sake of it, uh, of caution, register it with the program. And it usually you know, gets rejected. So not really taking anything from that video, but it's just this weird, am I going to get in trouble from Nintendo? Because they really have all the power in this situation. And like it or hate it, they did the right thing. I know that sounds controversial, but if you look at 2017, Nintendo comes off looking like the smart one here. And I don't know, this is obviously just a theory, but the fact is, is that I'm wondering how much of the Nintendo Creators Program has influenced the latest changes from YouTube. Maybe not much, maybe that's a stretch of the imagination, but still, YouTube and Nintendo are at this weird relationship. They have this weird relationship from a streaming perspective. Nintendo Creators Program took your ability to stream Nintendo games on YouTube, leaving Twitch as this weird wild west which for me is really confusing, but you know what? If they're not gonna <laughs> fault me for it, I'll go ahead and stream over there, that's fine. But for YouTube itself, there's this weird relationship and we even put up this funny kind of graphic sometimes at the beginning of videos and people have asked about it. If sometimes we do it full screen, some of we won't, I'll toss it up here in this video so you guys can see it <laughs> and read it a little bit. But at the end of the day, like YouTube and Nintendo, and Nintendo specifically making this change doesn't surprise me. In fact, it kind of makes me lean more that they're really more about making a little bit of revenue off this. That it's not so much about maybe protecting their IP, but it's about making that money. <laughs> so if you can't make money off your videos, any videos on YouTube, Nintendo doesn't want you a part of their program. Now, maybe that's just them being extra protective and taking that extra line of defense. And to that I say, okay, I mean, again, this is the Nintendo Creators Program and this is Nintendo we're talking about. I am not surprised by this move at all. I don't think it benefits gamers. I don't think anybody who's wanting to come out and come up with a you know 100% Nintendo focused channel is going to have an easy time because you're going to have to not only um, put those videos up, but there's going to be risks that you have to take there. This is an essential, uh, I guess, great way that only, I guess, known creators uh, that YouTube has vetted and then Nintendo then double vets uh, can be a part of this program and then they're going to take a bit of that revenue. So for me, it's like I'm glad that we're not a Nintendo only channel, but for Nintendo only channels, well, I guess you're going to use a lot of still frames. I guess there's just ways and things that you're going to have to do that nobody had to do before to kind of try to make it on the platform. 
But again, like I'd love to know your thoughts. Are you a Nintendo Focus creator? Are you a, a creator out there, a part of the program? Or are you somebody who boycotts the program altogether? I'd love to know your thoughts. Again, these changes don't surprise me, but I'm not a fan of it at all. Like it is just this extra step and this nervousness. That's why you actually haven't seen me post a lot about Xenoblade itself is because I've registered them, they've got rejected. And then I'm like, well, you know, should I post about it? Should I not? I see other channels doing it. And then it gets to the point where I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to, I'm just going to enjoy this game. Anyway, guys, I'd love to know your thoughts about this or anything regarding Nintendo. Sound off in the comments below. Let's have that conversation. But for work to game, my name's Brian. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Hey, it's me. I'm in Chris's office. He doesn't know it, but we've got other videos for you to check out right here. And we've got the vlog down there in the corner. Plus, we've got some contact information. And you can totally subscribe to the channel that way as well. So we hope you do. We hope to see you in our next video. But until then, take care.